Good morning everybody, this is Bill from Aquatic Source and today we're going to talk about pH. What is pH in the swimming pool industry? It means please help. Not exactly. What pH really is, in layman's term, is it's the acid versus base demand of the water. If you know our pH scale is 0 to 14, 0 to 7 is acidic, 7 to 14 is basic. pH in our water is the single most influential factor of the saturation index, which we all know is important for not only our pool shells, our pool equipment, and for the bathers that we introduce into the water pH that is extremely high, over 8, can be very uncomfortable to the bather's eyes and skin. The pH of the fluid in our eyes is around 7.5, which is why we try to hold our pH range in the water at 7, 4, 5, or 6. Now understanding pH being the most influential factor of this saturation index, let's talk about the relationship between pH and total alkalinity. As we know, we like to keep our total alkalinity within a certain range in the water, generally 80 parts per million to 120 parts per million, 100 being perfect, okay? Well, as total alkalinity begins to rise, for those of you maybe using CO2 gas for your pH control, it allows the alkalinity in the water to naturally rise. And as you start going up above 120 parts per million, you begin to lose the gas mileage, so to speak, of the, P, of the CO2, which is controlling the pH in the water. And it may take a great deal of CO2 just to hold the pH at the 7.5 you may be trying to hold it at. Conversely, for those who might be using muriatic acid or sodium bisulfate for their pH control, that will naturally knock the alkalinity out of the water and as your total alkalinity begins to fall in that 50 parts per million range or lower it becomes it very difficult to hold the pH at 7, 4, 5, or 6 because a little bit of this and a little bit of that has a great deal of effect on the pH when the alkalinity is real low. So understanding pH being your most influential factor, helping control that pH means keeping your total alkalinity in a range that's acceptable. pH also has a great deal of effect on chlorine. A low pH means the chlorine molecule becomes very fast and very effective. And a high pH in the water slows the chlorine molecule down and it's less effective in the water in which the speed factor of oxidizing organic waste. So pH plays a huge role in ORP, pH plays a huge role with total alkalinity, and we all know water balance in the pool is beneficial to the bather, beneficial to your equipment, and beneficial to the pool shell. So at the end of the day, folks, water balance is important, Control your pH at a level that's acceptable for bathers and keep an eye on your water balance to run a safe, clean swimming pool. This is Bill from Aquatic Source. Have a great day.